ladies and gentlemen, the lawyer of Ahmad Arbery family said he was chased for four minutes before being shot. So these two just were hell bent on harassing him and doing what they had no business doing. And I do agree acting as vigilantes, but it's the police department's fault for giving them the nod to do it. So they were so empowered, they thought they couldn't be touched. Slain jogger, Ahmad Arbery, was chased through a Georgian neighborhood for more than four minutes before he was confronted and shot dead. An attorney for the family said Monday, the footage of the unarmed Arbery's death in February sparked outrage when it was released earlier this month, leading to murder charges for the ex-cop and his son who were shown in the fatal confrontation. But the video of Aubrey's death is longer than what was released publicly and is far more damning. It shows the 25 year old black man being followed through the streets of Brunswick for more than four minutes, family attorney S. Lee Merritt told Action News Jax. The footage shows Gregory McMichael, 64, and Travis McMichael, the father and son charged with his murder, trailing Arbery in their pickup before getting out with a shotgun. Fox News says. It also raises fresh questions about William Roddy Bryan, who was always insistent he was just a good Samaritan helping the case. Would film for so long, the lawyer said. He is a liar, Merritt told Fox, accusing him of initially telling the police he was trying to trap Arbery, but now trying to clear his name. You can't trust any of these people that were there. I'm serious. You can't trust none of them. All of them are liars. If he was a good Samaritan, he would have honked his horn. It's worth noting that on the video, he doesn't even flinch. He doesn't gasp. Shot after shot, he simply takes it all in, Merritt told Fox News. That's true. That's true. Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, also told Fox she isn't buying the good neighbor defense. Why would you videotape it? Why didn't he do anything to help? Why didn't he reach out right after the shooting? she told the network in a phone interview. Why did he only come forward after the video was leaked? It was not immediately clear if authorities always had the full video showing Arbery being followed for so long. I can't answer what another agency did or not did. Georgia Bureau of Investigation Director Vic Reynolds told Fox News. Reynolds noted, however, that the Bureau secured felony murder warrants within 36 hours of getting involved in the case. I think that speaks volumes for itself and that probable cause was clear to our agents pretty quickly, Reynolds told the network, Reynolds is full of shit. Okay, this happened in February and you want us to give you a pat on the back because after the video was released, you got warrants for these two after they were out all this time? No, you don't get no pat on the back for that. None of you do, not even the guy filming it. He didn't do nothing good. He went along with it. That's why he didn't flinch. If he was a real good neighbor or whatever the hell he's trying to claim, a good Samaritan, he would have went to the police right away. 
he sat on it. He stayed silent. And they all stayed silent because they were trying to get away with the whole thing, including the guy filming it. They were all trying to get away with it. Ain't fooling no damn body. Oh, these people are sick. But y'all, please tell me what you think. I, I just, my heart goes out to the family. And Ahmaud Arbery, this is how his life had to end. <sighs> please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.